But nobody knows about that today because I've decided to suppress them. Not that they are not really, but tomorrow I can decide to resurrect any of them if there is need for it. You understand? But you have to come to a point in your life, you have to decide this is one thing that I want to be known for. You understand? So he, he put up the impression that he wants to die. So in most cases, these are these are practical examples of clients. Sometimes most of them will not reveal to you what they feel about the property. Some of them might feel, if I tell you I don't like the property, you will feel bad. You understand? They will play around with you, agree to everything you are saying. You understand? Just to make sure that you don't feel bad. There is hardly anybody that comes to me that doesn't feel bad. Because when you're coming to me, I have decided. Because for, for a client to reach out to you, it shows they are interested in what you're about. People don't just reach out to you because they have all the time to waste. Especially when you are marketing properties of 5 million, 10 million. Nobody has that time to waste. So it depends on how you respond to them that will determine the next phase You have to get to a point that they call you, then the next issue comes to their mind is something. So if you are doing so many things, they call your name, they don't even know okay, if you are a stylist, or if you are a nutrition, or if you are a relationship or not. You cannot go with such identity. It's all brand discussion. So you have to get to a point in life you make a decision. This is one thing I want to do for the rest of my life. And I have to dedicate the rest of my life doing it to get better, to become a professional identity. It's a decision that I, each and every one of us has.